investigating the kidnapping of a woman that ended with a man shot dead outside a home in the Umble area. This happened on Mustang Coral Drive near Palomino Ridge. Our Michelle Choi has been following this story all morning long and has the latest. Hey Sherman, the Harris County Sheriff's Office is investigating the shooting all morning. We saw deputies working two different scenes. One is where that man was found dead, which was outside a home here along Mustang Corral Drive. The other scene is located just around the corner from here at a home on Palomino Drive, where we're told a woman this man used to date lives. Investigators believe this all started early this morning when he tried to meet her. When she came outside, they say the woman told investigators the man grabbed her and forced her into a car at gunpoint and had her drive while he sat in the passenger seat. As they were rounding a corner, at some point, investigators believe he shot himself in the stomach. What we know is at some point in that exchange between them two in the car, uh, the male either had a self-inflicted gunshot wound to his stomach or an accidental discharge when the vehicle went up onto the yard and into that tree as you see. They say the woman then managed to get out of the red car they were in and run away. Investigators say the man also got out of the car and that's when they believe he shot himself again, this time intentionally. We're told Precinct 4 initially responded to the weapons disturbance call and found the man dead in the yard. Neighbors we talked to didn't see what happened but described what they heard. Uh, around 4.30 I heard a gunshot and I don't know what it was at first. But then like 30 seconds later, you heard I was, it was about four or more gunshots. So when I realized something was actually going on. We're told the woman wasn't hurt. Investigators told us they were talking to her this morning and that they would test her hands for gunpowder residue. They also share the woman and man, both in their 30s, had been in a relationship but had broken up for a little while. And the two might have a child together, but they weren't sure if there was any prior history of domestic violence between them. For now, investigators tell us they'll continue to treat this as a homicide as they learn more. We're told they'll be reviewing two surveillance videos they got from nearby homes.